a Gearheads Jeff from Gear Report. Today we're going to talk about a variety of different lanterns and flashlights from Streamlight. If you're new to our channel, what we do here is we review outdoor gear. You see we do a lot of firearms. We also do kayaks, tents, backpacking equipment outdoor stuff like flashlights. Uh. Let's start with the biggest. We'll work our way down to the smallest. This they call the Super Siege 1100 lumens. It has a variety of different features. I'll put a link to all of these products in the description of the video where you'll have the full product description, all the different stats. The key things here, it can run up to 35 hours. 1100 lumens is on the high setting. It does white light, it does red light, it has varying intensities. That's not even the coolest part. This is a micro USB cable. When you uncover this little port at the bottom, you have a charging port. So here's another key feature. This has a rechargeable battery. You don't have to put batteries in it. It comes with a wall wart. You plug it in and charge it up. And then here's your port. You can plug your cell phone into it. If you're out, you're at the lake for the weekend, you're camping, you have power and uh, it's going to give you, there you go, you see the lights on and, and I'm charging here. That tells you it's on. So let's see what the different modes look like on this. There we go. You see that's pretty darn bright. All right, and off. So one, two, three and off. If you just push it, if you hold it, now we change to red, low, high, and then the SOS function. All right, so we'll hold it again to switch back to white cycle through the different powers. It has a clip on top with a little wire gate, like a little little mini carabiner almost. Same thing on the bottom. You can hang it either direction, up or down. Has an 8800 milliamp hour battery. So as far as battery portable power packs, uh, 10,000 seems to be a pretty standard mid-size USB, you know, charging capability. And, you know, this has, it, it's your charger along with uh, a pretty cool light. So you got your carry hang handle to hang it. This is just a shield, all right? So if the light's on and the shield is towards me, I'm not getting blinded by it, but I still have light out there. So pr pretty clever, I think, that they've done that. I can't tell I'm kind of a fan of this. I'm really enjoying it. You even have uh, a little storage bin here where you can put your USB cable when you're not using it. I initially looked at this and thought, I don't know. But I took it on a camping trip and used it, and it did really well. And then I have found, even my wife's actually started using this at night when reading, because she didn't have a reading lamp beside the bed. Because it has this shield on it, she can put it here to, to light her book and have that shield so it's not blinding me. I kind of appreciate that. I have found that I carry this with me sometimes just for the charger and then having that battery pack works out pretty well. I actually had to sleep in the Humvee a couple weekends ago. I went to a wilderness first aid training class and we got done so late on Friday night that I didn't want to set the hammock up. I had a, a new hammock, the Thermarest, uh, what do they call it? The Thermarest Slacker Hammock House uh, that had just come in for review. I had not set it up before. I didn't want to do that at 11.30 or 11, whatever time it was. So I slept inside the back of the Humvee. And this was my light for the evening. Worked great, charged my phone at the same time. So again, this is the Super Siege. You can go find that, uh, put the links down in the description. Some other items, the Siege, it's like a little miniature version of the Super Siege, all right? So low, medium, high, off, when we hold it, now it changes to red, low, and blink. All right, so it only has one red intensity and then the SOS. And then we'll hold it to change back. Low, medium, high. And I think the batteries are likely going a little dead on this because I actually sent this with my daughter uh, for a camping trip recently. This uses three AA batteries and I have rechargeables in here. So probably time to recharge those. It's got a nice kind of rubber finish on a couple areas so it doesn't bang into things too bad. Neat thing about this is you can take the diffuser off and you've got just your regular white light here if you need more of a focused beam 
and you can see it's blinking to tell me the battery's about dead. So I apologize for that, folks. I honestly am surprised. This was another one that I looked at when it came in and thought, what am I gonna do with this? And as it turns out, both of these get used quite a bit. The Super Siege more because it's brighter and because it has the charger. I had no idea how much I was gonna like that. Really, really like the Super Siege. The Siege is a nice little light as well. And, uh, you know, I forgot to mention the Super Siege, the diffuser comes off as well. So you can have just that light to use in a more directional manner if you like. We've also got a flashlight here. They call this the Dually, all right? It runs on two AA batteries. It's got a little magnet in the, in the base. I would stick it to something and show you how it works, but the, the Humvee's aluminum, so <laughs> can't really do that. It's got a nice clip here, so you can clip it on your belt. You see the groove here for the clip? You could also pop that clip off here. You could flip it around the other direction. Uh, to mount it on like the brim of a hat if you have a sturdy hat potentially because it's got you know grooves for for either side there So what makes the dually special? Why is it called a dually? All right dually meaning we have your standard beam in the front Okay, pretty pretty easy your button is right up here on the black you push it you turn it off But then the other hand on bottom now we have a light pointing down so the idea is often when you're camping you have your light beam focused out ahead of you so you can see where you're going, and then you have to shine it down so you don't trip on a stump or step on a snake. With this, you turn the bottom light on also, you can see some kind of gentle illumination down below so you don't trip on something, as well as having your directional beam out front with a much greater intensity so you can see where you're going and what's going on around you. So there we go, dual beams, that's why they call it the dually. Seriously, I, I didn't know what to expect out of this uh, new relationship we have with Streamlight where we're reviewing products. They surprised us with several things. And in every case, I was initially skeptical and pretty tickled once I actually got to, to play with them and understand how they work and uh, you know see what the unique value is because each one of these is a little bit different than, you know, we got tons of flashlights. I have two or three lanterns this size, uh, even some that blink red and do SOS. Each one of these has something unique and different about it that, that kind of sets it apart. And then this one hadn't even come out of the package yet, so this is really just a preview to say if you need a lightweight headlamp that does a couple different things and has a unique feature, in this case it is USB rechargeable. This, uh, it weighs 1.9 ounces, that is 36.8 grams. So uh, come back, if you're into, if you're into backpacking, uh, then you'll understand Counting grams gets kind of uh, obsessive for some people. I'm one of those, they call them gram weenies sometimes, where you worry too much about uh, every little gram or tenth of a gram of weight in what you put in your backpack. That's how you get your pack lighter, by the way. Weigh everything, know how much it weighs. The lightest flashlight that I have right now is a little black diamond headlamp that is 28 grams. Uh, so this is gonna come in as the second lightest headlamp that I have. It puts out 180 lumens. The next brightest I have does, um, I think it's 100 in high mode. That's a, the Black Diamond Ion, which you know, maybe I'll remember to put a link for that in, in the description as well. So this on high does 180 lumens, low does 35, it'll flash at 180 lumens. On high at 180 lumens, you should get two hours out of a charge. Uh, nine and a half hours if you go on the low mode at 35 lumens and if it's flashing at 180 lumens I don't know how long that's gonna last. IPX4 water resistant that is not completely waterproof but it's better than nothing certainly it's got a lithium polymer battery in it and that's where you, know, you plug it into your I, I believe it's micro USB because that's what the cable here is to charge it it comes with a clip to put it on a hat or a cap or maybe even the front of a uh, a jacket as well as a head strap so you'll hear more about it later so again streamlight super siege siege dually and bandit the links are in the description below while you're down there why don't you click on that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content we have coming and we'll see you at the range